Hi there, welcome to Max Mud at Skyrim. We are level 37. We're at High Hrothgar. We just did the Alduin Wall. So the Throat of the World quest started. Never a big fan of these parts of this quest. It's always relatively boring. Even when they behave. <laughs> right? Sky above, voice within. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? None of your beeswax. Yes. For matters of such gravity, we need to know where you stand. Or who you stand with. Who we stand with us? My beeswax. That's what I just said. The blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bound. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades to be used for their own purposes? I'm not their meat puppet. What I want is irrelevant. This shout was used once before, was it not? And here, have you considered that Alduin was not meant to be defeated? Those who overthrew him in ancient times only postponed the day of reckoning. They did not stop it. If the world is meant to end, so be it. <laughs> Let it end. Nice. You, no, not now. Not until you return to the path of wisdom. What? Now what do you have to say for yourself? Dragonborn, wait. Uh, forgive me, I was intemperate. I allowed my emotions to cloud my judgment. Master Einarth reminded me of my duty. The decision whether or not to help you is not mine to make. No, I cannot teach it to you because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrand holds no place within the way of the voice. Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. Boy, my hair is all windblown. <laughs> you weren't ready, you still aren't ready. But, thanks to the blades, you now have questions. <laughs> Sophia's like, move over, old man. I want to sit down. <laughs> he is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. Okay. Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. 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 Curious name. Why one? No, surely not. What a ridiculous notion. <laughs> What's Lucian saying? <laughs> okay, so he didn't say to follow him, but I'm going to. Just listen to my gut. <laughs> It's weird that they didn't tell me to follow them. Four dudes in robes. Should I be nervous? Three dragon souls to do this, I think. This is your final gift from us, 
is perilous, not to be embarked upon lightly. Keep moving, stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the sun. <laughs> Pray first. Alright, I don't remember this being too much of a problem, but don't remember much, so... I'm sure I remember being any bad guys on this part of the journey, but who knows? Hi. Hi. Is that the right way? I don't remember. something really bad. Oh shit. <laughs> Let's get him when he's not paying attention. God. the other guy we're fighting. I mean, this guy shouldn't be that hard to kill. Where's the brute? Did he fall and die? Um, probably. What do you got? Something's still alive. Probably has all of their attention down there, huh? Well, we'll see if they forget about it. No goatee. I stay for a walk. So I guess I'll get not just pickaxe while I'm up here. I think I played one modded version and it wasn't here. Like something else had replaced it or something. Why? Is he dead? Asshole. Expecting to see a frost troll or something. Oh, that's just how the end. <laughs> I do not remember anybody being here at all. This is really weird. <laughs> uh, I'm so bored. <laughs> Madam, you have made a wonderful decision what? to pass by my humble shop front today. Oh yes, I have only the finest of items, premium quality, and at the very best of prices. All of this could be yours. Just step right up. My lady, it is I who is dreaming. 
to be visited well, yeah. by such a fine Look at me. as yourself. But uh, no, my wares really are this excellent, and there's no finer place to shop. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, <clears throat> I'm sure the customer can understand that there is a certain process one must go through in the purchase. Well, see, the goods of which I remind you are of the finest quality, are all safely stored in magical crates. This is just further proof of how much Krellic cares for the customers, of course. Open the crates? What, are you mad? Why, that goes against everything Krellic's good stands for, Sarah. It goes to the heart of this very establishment. That the customer must be the one what to open the is this? Doing so grants them an unparalleled sense of pride and accomplishment. After purchasing them, of course. Exactly. You are a sharp one, aren't you? You did come to the finest of merchants, after all. All you need to do is hand across a small payment of 1,000 <laughs> And this sounds suspicious, but I have lots and lots of money, so. Uh, steal from. Well, let's see what happens. This is I, this, I've never seen this before. A wise decision. You won't regret this, Sarah. Oh, look, no I got a special so crate. What? <laughs> this is really fun. Can I take his money? I wonder if it's a thousand dollars. Get out of the way, Avianda. Uh huh. Special crate. All right, let's see what it is. <laughs> a layer of dust and maybe some fingernails was what I bought for a thousand dollars. What a ripoff! Is literally what it said. Okay, that's funny. But I had to do that. I'd never seen that before. It was funny and kind of weird. <laughs> All right, I think we're there, aren't we? Boom. All right, that's a good place to stop, and we will talk to Parthenax and get Notch's pickaxe next time. See you then. Bye-bye.